Russia's just declared war on the U.S. The Georgians hit our communications, transportation, power grids. We still don't know how extensive the damage is. Your mission. Alrighty. <clears throat> ah, let me get my voice back together. <laughs> what is going on, everybody? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy Deacon, and welcome to Let's Play Splinter Cell, the very first Splinter Cell. Came out back in November 17, 2002. I repeat, 2002, that far back, and I'll say this, it brings back a lot of memories, I'll say that. Now, before we commence this episode, do not forget to Hulk smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, share this with your boys and your families, follow me on Instagram, smash that bell notification button, and of course, as always, please sit back and enjoy the show. Here we are. Uh, the fuck is that? No, delete that. Make notes. This this shall be my first time in a long time of playing this game. Here we are. Canceled a trip to Georgia this morning after the suicide bomb assassination of that country's president by separatist rebels from the Abkhazia region. Continued fighting in the Abkhazia and South Ossetia regions has hindered Georgia's hopes of integration into Western institutions. Industry Baron Kambain Nikolad seized power today in a bloodless coup, installing himself in the presidential palace behind a wall of political and military support. The charismatic billionaire plans on holding elections within a matter of days to affirm his seat of power and promises a pristine and profitable relationship with America and the West. Bringing high-speed fiber optic connectivity to areas of Eastern Europe that less than a decade past didn't have telephones. The technological leap is due largely to the efforts of rising information industries in the Netherlands and especially Georgia, where President the vice president called his visit to Georgia an honor and called Georgian president Kumbain Nikolads a man with his eyes on the future. Alrighty, let's get to it. <clears throat> <clears throat> Prove that you are the right man for the job. That shouldn't be too hard. God, memories are coming back. Irving Lambert. My apologies, but uh, my cell phone went off unexpectedly. Sam Fisher, I can't believe you beat me here. I like to be early. Hello, girl. You can use my name, the room's safe. Lambert. Good to see you again. I trust NSA orientation is going well? Well enough. Everybody's been real coy about what exactly I'm allowed to know. It's the nature of the agency. We don't let any one person know everything, which means we've all got to work together. Even though I'll be out there alone. You'll be transmitting to us in more ways than you can imagine, and we'll be online through your earpiece and OPSAT. And that's how we're handling training. Yep. Sorry to make you run the course. I know you've been taking care of yourself. 
I haven't been in the field in years. Sure. But tradecraft is something you don't forget. It's like riding a bike. Or wearing high heels. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, Fisher. Everything we say is being monitored. You know how nervous the brass is about exercising the fifth freedom. I'll be good. Be better than good. Third Echelon is a brand new initiative. The role aggressive intelligence operations will play in NSA's future will depend largely on your performance. I'll see you on the far side of the course. Alrighty. All right, Sam. Let's get started. Uh huh. Can you hear me clearly? Hi there. Good. <laughs> that means the implanted speaker is working correctly. Now. The technicians here want to calibrate your equipment. Can you turn to the red emergency light on the wall to your left? Uh-huh. Great. Now the one on your right. Copy. Okay. Same thing for pitch. Look for another light up in the rafters on the ceiling. Okay. Excellent. Now look for one on the ground in front of you. All right, Fisher. We'll get through this as quickly as possible. We'll start simple. Climb up onto that ledge. That pool. Now how do... Aha. Uh -huh. Just so you know, everybody, I'm playing on my laptop. Alright? So, left shift is to jump. Press jump shift at the base of ledge to grab onto. Oop. Hold on a minute. Nope. That didn't work. Hold on a minute. Damn it. Okay, fuck it. Okay. I should have done that earlier. I used to play this game, especially Pandora Tomorrow, on the PS2, so... We'll let you do your thing here. Your basic assault course. I'll chime back in once you've passed it. Okay. As soon your default speed is walking, use the accelerator key mouse wheel up to increase same speed. I just got that. As I was saying, uh, I used to play this game on the PS2, so playing this game on the laptop, I'm very anxious and quite nervous as to see where how this is gonna play out, you know. Space. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Wait. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Nice. Climbing on a vertical pipe or beam is like using a ladder. Copy. Alrighty. When between narrow walls, it may be possible for Sam to do a split jump. Yes. I remember this. Just like this. Alrighty. Mm-hmm. Okay. God, I must say, he, he used to be agile in his younger years, but now, like, all that agility is pretty much gone. Oops, hold on. What is this? Oh, okay. Alrighty. Mm-hmm. 
I must say, the mouse sensitivity is quite strong. It's quite high. Yes. Yes. You don't open the gate, you go over it. Hmm. Oh, never mind. You're moving on into covert ops. The objective is to sneak through the area without being detected. We've got live bodies in there. Some of the top CIA instructors have kindly volunteered to be your victims. Nice. Press escape to open your op set. Okay. That shouldn't be too bad. This shouldn't be too hard to navigate through. The door to the next training area. Alright, let's do it. Door peak. Nice. Before I continue. The next door is locked, Sam. You'll need to use your lock picks to get through it. Copy. Okay, you press the fire button in order to do that. Got it. This next door is keypad locked. The man guarding the door has the code to open it, but he's been instructed not to cooperate. Convince him otherwise. That shouldn't be too hard. Oh, I already know that. Yep. That wasn't too hard. Huh. Hi there. Hi. You're not going easy on me, are you? Not so tight. That hurts. Sorry about that. What's the door code? 28469. It was a pleasure working with you. 28469. Alrighty. Nice. This next door is retinal scanner locked. These things are cheap and near impossible to hack. Hmm. Fortunately, it's just a matter of getting the right eyes to the scanner. Usually an officer. The gentleman ahead is registered for the scanner. Convince him to open the door for you. Good idea. Yep, I remember this part. Got him. <laughs> All right. Copy that. 
I need to put him in a quiet spot. There you are. Make sure nobody finds the bodies. Let's work on stealth. Your gun should always be a last resort. Invisibility is your best weapon. We've got a network of photocells on your outfit connected to a visibility meter on your offset. If the meter's at four, you lit up like a Dutch brothel. At zero, you're a ghost's shadow. Hmm. Yep, I remember all this. I remember this. Oh, this is very tedious. Nope. Come on. There you go. Come on. There you go. Wait, let me try something. Give me a minute. There you go. Ah, yes. The classic night vision goggles. Some cameras are more fragile, and all you'll need to do to get past them is shoot them. Correct. <laughs> the... Yes, I remember this part. Yep, I just did that. Damn it. Oh, damn, I just... Where the fuck did my pistol go? And y'all took it away, fuck. a camera will be to stick to existing shadows and time your moves. Good idea. Because you took my damn pistol away. Got it. Got it. Oh god, I remember how slow he used to be when carrying a body. Okay now, Fisher. Let's bring in another guard to evaluate your work. All right. Good luck on that. You want me to take him down or Cuz I I don't want to do that unless you give the command. Alrighty. Remember Good. that discretion is critical to our operations. Covering up the evidence of your passing through will go a long way towards proving our usefulness in the field. Nice. Alrighty. The next hallway is the same idea, but for sound. 
I'll be monitoring a few hidden mics. Okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I can hear his fucking heartbeat. Look at that. Ooh. started yet? Fisher, holy Christmas, you're at the end. Phenomenal work. Let's move on. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Now. Aha. Uh -huh. That's got to be him. Yep. Sam Fisher. Let me introduce you to Vernon Wilkes, Jr. Hello. Hey, I've heard crazy things about your work. I hope you don't mind. I told him some of your stories from Kuwait. We're all friends here. Right on. Junior Wilkes is a longtime NSA employee. He'll be your wheels, wings, and weapons. He coordinates transportation and equipment. Great. For sure. Man, you must be itching to get back out in the field, huh? It's all I'm good at. Well, it's all we need. Welcome to the NSA. I'm sure things are going to come together famously. Third Echelon is a brand new initiative, and we're going to have a lot to prove. Right. The two of you will be Third Echelon's first team on the ground. Be ready for it, and do us proud. Welcome to the NSA. Hell yeah! That's the shit I'm talking about. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, he graduated from basic training. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes this episode of Splinter Cell. So thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to Hulk smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, share this with your boys and your families, follow me on Instagram, smash that bell notification button, and every single one of you have a wonderful and blessed day. Peace out.